Hi, this video is very important for ACCA students who are studying F5, which is performance management, CMA USA students who are studying CMA part one, and if you're working in a company and you are involved in pricing decisions. Hi, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where I create content covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life changes, business ideas, and hacks. In this video, I'm going to talk about the straight line demand equation. Now, straight line demand equation is based on the concept of demand. And obviously, it is from economics. And those of you all who have studied economics know the law of demand. So those who have not studied, let me tell you, law of demand says if prices are increased, the quantity demanded goes down. In other words, price and quantity demanded of a particular product generally they are inversely related. If you increase the price, people tend to buy less. If you reduce the price, people tend to buy more. Obviously, there are some limitations and exceptions. So having some idea about law of demand, now we can talk about the straight line demand equation. So the straight line demand equation helps us to understand the price at which a consumer would be willing to buy a particular product. So I have a question here. It says, uh, current price of a product is $24. At this price, the company is able to sell 120 units. So the current price is $24. Company can sell 120 units. Company decided to increase the price to 30. From 24 to 30, that means they're increasing the price by $6. And when this happened, they were only able to sell 90 units. This information very much aligns with the law of demand because when you increase the price, the demand falls. We are asked to determine the demand equation. The demand equation, especially in ACC exams, is given. P is equal to A minus BQ, where P is the price. Small a is the price at which demand will be zero. B is the change in price divided by change in quantity. And obviously Q is the quantity demanded. So now that we know what is the equation, we can calculate first A, then B, and after that we will have the magical straight line demand equation. So uh, let's talk about A. A is calculated like this. A is equal to current price plus current quantity, current quantity at current price divided by change in quantity when price is changed multiply by change in price which is in dollars so if i plug in the numbers here it says current price current price is 24 dollars plus current quantity at current price so how many units we are selling at 24 we are able to sell 120 units then it's a change in quantity when price is changed when price is changed from 24 to 30 dollars we are able to sell 90. So from 120 to 90, the change in quantity is 30 units. Multiply by change in price is how much? $6. So when I solve this, this is 24 plus this will be 4 into 6. So this would be 24 plus 6 for the 24. That comes to 48 and this is a now please understand for this company when the price was 24 dollars they were able to sell 120 units they increased the price a little by six dollars from 24 to 30 the demand fell down by 30 units so what is happening a six dollar increase in price which is from 24 to 30 brings the quantity demanded from 120 to 90 so there is a change in quantity demanded which is becoming less as per law of demand as you know price and demands are inversely related so increase in price by six dollars is bringing the quantity from 120 to 90. 
So now, if we keep increasing our price, a time will come where demand will be zero. So what will be the price at which demand will be zero? That is $48. If you charge $48 for this company in this market, nobody will buy your product. Next step is to calculate B. B is change in price upon change in quantity. Change in price is from 24 to 30, which is $6. Change in quantity is from 120 to 90, which is 30. This equals to 0 0.2, which is 20%. Once we have A, once we have B, we are all set to uh, derive this demand equation. P is equal to A minus BQ, where P is the price. A is the price at which quantity will be 0, which is $48. B is 0 0.2 and Q. So this is your straight line demand equation. And what is the benefit of this straight line demand equation? Once we have straight line demand equation in which we can put any quantity here. So if you want to sell this much quantity, what is the price we should be charging? So for example, if I plug in here, let's say I want to sell 60 units. So if I do it here, I'm plugging in, let's say 60 units. So if I want to sell 60 units, what should be my price? Or more units maybe, what should be my price? So I'm just looking at sticking to 60. So P is equal to 48 minus 0.2 Q. So I'm thinking what should be the price if I want to sell 60 units. So let it be 40 minus 0.2. And I'm thinking if I want to sell 60 units, what should be the price consumer will be able willing to pay? P is equal to 48 minus, this will be 12. So P will be 48 minus 12, 36. So P is equal to 36, which means if I want to sell 60 units, the price I should be charging is 36. So it is very evident that, look here, when we raise the price to 30, we were able to sell 90 units. If I increase the price 36, I'll be able to sell only 60 units. Now I'm looking at what if if I want to sell less units, obviously if I make increase the price, uh, the quantity demand will go down. Let's have a look. If I assume P is equal to same, the demand equation, straight line demand equation, P is equal to 48 minus 0 0.2 Q. Okay, so I'm saying what price customers will be willing to pay if I just want to sell, for example, 30 units. So P is equal to 48 minus 6. Price will be 42. Means if I set price 42, I'll be able to sell 30 units. But if I increase, reduce the price from 42 to 36, if I reduce the price from 42 to 36, people will buy 60 units. And this is very much in harmony with the law of demand. So once we have the straight line demand equation, we can just substitute different values and see if you want to sell this many units, what should be the ideal price we should be charging. If we are charging this much price, how many units we'll be able to sell. And I think this is a very, very important equation. Students should know, obviously to pass exams. And if you are involved in setting prices, you should understand that the market, the consumers are price sensitive. If you change the price, it will have an impact on the demand. There is something called price elasticity of demand. If you want to know more about it, I have created a video here. You can watch this video. This is on price elasticity of demand. It shows you what happens when there is a change in price. What is the response of demand and to what extent? So I won't talk more about it because there is a video already there. Watch price elasticity of demand. Next thing you need to know is what is the profit maximizing output? 
that means how many units we should sell so that the company makes maximum profit and what is the price we should be charging so that the company makes maximum profit so have a look at this question it said at price of 500 a company can sell 24,000 units it was found that the demand falls by 5 units for every $1 increase in price. Here again you should understand that the law of demand applies. Whenever you change the price, there will be an effect on the demand. So here when the selling price is $500 a unit, you are able to sell 24,000 units. The moment you increase price by just $1, your demand falls by 5 units. And at the moment, marginal cost of making one unit is $160. So marginal cost is cost of producing an extra unit and marginal cost will include cost of direct material, direct labor, variable production overheads, and if there are any direct expenses. So in this question, given the scenario, we are asked to calculate profit maximizing output. Means how many units should you be selling so that your profits are at the maximum? Number one. Number two, what price you should be charging so that your profits are maximized because obviously if you change the price quantity demanded will be affected quantity demanded will be affected your total sales will be affected your total sales will be affected profit will be affected so we want to know what should be the ideal price and what should be the ideal quantity we'll be selling so that profits are maximized so here an additional marginal revenue function is given to us in all ACC exam this equation is given to us price uh, straight line demand equation is also we know so what we do first is we will calculate the value of B and A so I can calculate any one first let's say I calculate B B is change in price upon change in quantity So, we are changing price by $1 and the quantity changes by 5. Remember, for every $1 increase in price, the quantity is changing by 5 units. So, this obviously will give you 0 0.2. So, B is 0 0.2. Then we have to calculate A. A is the current price. The current price is $5, 500. Plus, same formula I am using here current quantity at current price so current quantity at current price is 24,000 okay then change in quantity when price is change quantity is changing by 5 units or 24,000 is also units and change in price is $1 so when you solve this this will be 500 so 24,000 divided by 5 is 4,800 into 1 will give you 4,800 so when you add this up a will be 5300 now that we have the value of B and value of A we are all set to put this into marginal revenue function okay so we have marginal revenue is equal to A which is 5300 minus 2 B is 0 0.2 and Q so this will look like this marginal revenue is equal to 5300 minus this will be 0 0.4 q so here we need to understand the golden rule of economics in economics we say profits are maximized when marginal cost is equated with marginal revenue so let's do the same marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue now marginal cost is given to us as 160 here so it is 160 for marginal revenue I have this equation marginal revenue is 5300 minus 0.4 Q okay so if I bring this here this will be 160 minus 5300 which is equal to minus 0.4 Q 5300 minus 160 will give you 5140 minus 5140 and here we have minus 0.4 Q so what you do is you s s cancel the minus sign so let Q be here Q is equal to 5140 divided by 0 0.4 so 
So your final answer would be 5140 divided by 0 0.4, you will get 12,850 units. Mind you, we got the value of Q. So one part of the answer we already know. Profits will be maximized when we sell 12,850. Now the second important information we need to know it, what price we should be charging. Yes, we will sell 12,850, but what price customers would be willing to pay so that we are able to sell 12,850 units. So here we'll take help of the straight line demand equation, which is P is equal to A minus BQ. So price is equal to A, we already calculated here, 5,300. Minus B is, your B is 0 0.2. And the quantity, we just found out, 12,850. 12,850. So P is equal to 5,300 minus 0.2 into 12,850 will give you 2,570. So P will be, the price will be 5,300 minus 2,570. 2,730. So here again, it aligns with the law of demand because if you notice, when we were charging $500 price, we were able to sell 24,000 units. But as we increase $1, $1 price, the demand falls by 5 units. So here if you notice, if we charge $2,750, we will be able to sell 12,850 units. And let me tell you, selling this much units, which is the quantity, and charging this much price is the ideal. This price and this quantity will ensure that we make the highest possible profits. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have any other questions relating to profit maximizing output or profit maximizing selling price or straight line demand equation, feel free to leave a comment. I will reply to you as usual. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. This will help me a long way. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Love you all.